What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm in beautiful Barcelona at MWC 2024. And if you couldn't make the show, I've been scouring the floor for about two days so I can show you the best tech here. It's almost gonna be like you're here with me at this show. So let me show you some of the best tech. I think you're gonna love it. Okay, so MWC started for me before the halls even opened, and as you can see here on my wrist, I'm wearing the OnePlus Watch 2. And this one is special because it comes in at a reasonable price, 299 bucks, has nice steel construction, the design is really nice, comes in two colors. And yes, it is running Wear OS, and this is one of the first smart watches to implement Google's dual hybrid OS system, so it can get up to 100 hours of battery life. And I've been wearing this for two days now, and I think I have, let me check, 65% battery. So this thing is legit. And we also got to see the Nothing Phone 2A, which has that incredible transparent design at a much lower price point. So that's really exciting. I really can't tell you much about the phone in terms of specs, but you're gonna see a lot more coming up on that phone. But there's a lot of exciting tech in there. We need, we need some time. Let's go. First thing that caught my eye is at the Lenovo and Motorola booth. So Lenovo has the world's first transparent laptop and this thing is insane. And this is definitely the star of the show because there's a ton of people around it. Everybody kind of bumping each other to just take a look at it. This has a 17.3 inch display and has this cool holographic look to it. And it has a thousand nits, so it's super bright. So it's showing off very well here at the show. I got to see it a little bit early before the show and it was in a dimly lit room and it was impossible to shoot because the screen was so bright. So this actually has two transparent displays, the one on the top and on the bottom. And that one is a combination of a touch keyboard and a Wacom layer. So you can use a pen to draw on it. And I think this is really neat because it actually has a camera on the back. So you can take a picture of something in real life and then be able to digitally draw that. So this could be awesome for artists and also architects. So I can see the possibilities being endless on this one. But what I would really love to see is this come to market with a transparent display on the top and a OLED color our accurate display on the bottom, maybe with the kickstand. So when you prop it up, you get the best of both worlds. You would be able to get that cool transparent layer on the top and a color accurate display so you can use this with no compromises. I think that would be sweet. What do you think about that? So Motorola showed off their adaptive display smartphone concept. And this thing is really cool because it bends. So they showed it how you can clip it onto your wrist so you can use it as a big smartwatch if you wanted to. And in the front, it looks just like a normal smartphone and it looks really good. But then if you turn it around, you'll see these little ridges on the back that help it bend to precise levels. So I can see this being really good for maybe the hinge problem that we're having right now when it comes to smartphones, maybe that durability factor. And I love when you put it into tent mode, you can actually play Connect 4, as you can see here, from both sides. So this could be great for interactive games and also great for kids as well, for them to be able to watch the same content on one smartphone. I have two kids, so I think this would be an absolute game changer. So what do you think about these two concepts? I think tech is about to get super crazy in the next couple of years. So even though these are just concepts, kind of gives us a glimpse of what's happening in the tech industry. Okay, so Samsung's not gonna be outdone. They had a snap bracelet type of flexible OLED thing themselves and it looked pretty cool. But here, this is definitely gonna catch your eye. Check out the round displays. This is really cool, right? I'm sure you might be seeing this in maybe a car or something like that in the future. So this is really cool for mirrors and things. But check this out, guys. In here, this cabinet is the coolest for sure. Check out this OLED smart speaker, man. I'm telling you, they are missing a huge market segment here. Remember that failed uh, Samsung speaker that they had? Just imagine this as the smart home hub in your house. That's absolutely incredible. Front-facing camera, smart things hub control everything, watch videos. This thing could be an absolute hit if Samsung made it. See, that's what I'm saying. They're clapping for it right now. And over here is another OLED concept with headphones. So last time you saw it with the buds, right? But the headphones, that's really neat as well. Now, I know what people are gonna say already. How am I supposed to control this if I can't see it? But just imagine if you had all of these applications in a headphone and you can put all of your music just on the headphones themselves and then be able to have the applications. You can get notifications if you want to. You have access to the Google Play Store, health metrics, all that stuff. This actually could be a really cool segment as well when it comes to the headphones. You can see Samsung is absolutely cooking out here. Tons of display concepts, even an OLED smart key for cars, that could be neat as well. But guess what, Samsung doesn't have just this booth, they have two. All right, let's check out Samsung to see if they got anything else new here that we haven't seen before. 
I'm seeing S24 over here, which we've already seen. I'm actually doing a, a camera comparison here because we got the big camera update finally. S23. S23, what are we doing with this? Galaxy AI is here. Is it here? All right, so here we go. This is what you're gonna be happy about. S23 owners, check this out. You're getting all of these cool features from the S24, which is really, really neat. Look, circle to search coming on here. And I'm thinking you're also gonna get some of the AI features that are on the camera as well. Let's check that out just to see. This is the upcoming update that's coming in March. Gallery's right here, big guy. <laughs> here we go. Uh, let's go, let's go. Here we go, let's hit go. the eye. Aye. Are we popping up? There we go. Yeah, we can remaster, we can do background effects. See if we have some of the generative, there we go. Bam. There's the button, generate. So here's an image generated on the Galaxy S23 Plus. This is what we're looking forward to here. We gonna cut off our leg? I, I did, <laughs> I did that doing? wrong, I did <laughs> that doing? wrong. Deselect, deselect. Okay, that is the worst outline I've ever seen in my life, but it's, it's all good. Oh, look at that. Oh, but it got it though. That's AI for you. Okay. It's a masterpiece. Not a good example, but yeah, you know what's coming to the S23 Plus. All right, so we got the Galaxy Strip Club right here. <laughs> the pole dance is about to happen real soon. It is Barcelona after all. All right, so here's what everybody's looking for, and that is the Galaxy Ring, and it's behind a glass case. Actually, I got to see this in person and got to try it on. They had different colors, different sizes, but yeah, I'm, oh, I'm gonna have to fight through this. Hold on. So I'm looking forward to this being a part of the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem because I'm not a big wearables guy, and I wanna see if this changes my mind because obviously during sleep tracking and stuff like that, it's definitely gonna be easier. And I know Aura Ring's been out for a long time. There's other competitors as well. So I wanna see what Samsung actually spins on this. They also said that it can also work with the watch to get even better results. So, I mean, that is pretty cool. So I wanna see what this is all about. I don't think we got a lot of details here, but I think we're gonna hear more during the fold launch in the summertime, so I'm really looking forward to the Galaxy Ring. I really like the finish though, it looks pretty hot. All right, so I'm here at the Qualcomm booth and I got to check out the Humane AI pin. So this is one of the most interesting tech products that I've been looking forward to seeing. I've been seeing it all over social media, so they actually have some on demo here. And it's really small, smaller than I thought, and it just basically magnetically pins onto whatever clothing that you have and it was able to answer questions like what's there to do in Barcelona, of course, stuff like that. They had hooked up to a Bluetooth speaker so I could hear the responses. But for me, it was the hand gestures. If you don't want people to hear, you put out your hand and it projects it right there and you're able to do motions with your hands to go through the interface. And I really like that. And uh, it was really interesting to see. I wonder how practical this is gonna be because if it replaces the smartphone, then it'll be really cool. But if it's meant to work and supplement with your smartphone, then I'm not sure how much that I'm gonna use it. But just after seeing it here for only about five minutes, I bought one. So there you go. I'll probably get it like in 2025 or something. But yeah, I bought one after seeing it. So if that tells you something. Okay, so this is the uh, Techno Phantom Ultimate, and uh, looks like that this is a concept of some sort, I would imagine, but I would I, I can see them putting this out, but we've seen something similar uh, from Samsung and other places, but this looks like it's ready to go, and uh, I don't know, would you guys be interested in something like this, where you can look at this and then it would roll out into a larger display? Is this, is this the way to go? Okay, so you gotta check out this uh, Techno Pocket Go. It looks like that this is a a game device over here, kind of looking like a Steam Deck, but then it the display is the glasses. This is kind of cool. I mean, what do you guys think about that? We call it a 6D immersive gaming experience. 6D immersive experience. 6D. Where the hell do the other 2Ds come from? I, I don't know, man. Okay. Know. All right, so this uh, Techno Pocket Go is insane. So right now I'm looking through here, and it's this is really clear and it's running at least I would say 30 frames per second or more and um, it's running Windows 11 which is crazy I can feel a vibration from the uh, controller as well I mean you don't get a lot of like the ambient block out at all but like it is really clear this is pretty cool I'm surprised genuinely blown away all right so you know I had to check out the Xiaomi booth and it's extremely packed here it's like mega packs but right behind me is the Xiaomi SU7 and that thing has the Porsche Taycan vibes on the side a little bit of Ionic 6 you know but it looks sweet the color is really dope so I really like that but I want to check out the Xiaomi 14 Ultra so that's what I'm looking for 
All right, so there it is, Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Man, look at that camera cluster looking huge. I can't wait to get this. And let's see what the zoom's doing. There we go. What we got? Okay, we'll do a full range zoom test right here. One, two, 3.2, and then five, and then what's the maximum zoom we're looking at here? 120, let's go. And also there's that photography kit. Man, I love these things. So it makes it feel like a real camera. It's got a, it's got aperture adjustment or ISO adjustment on the top. Also a shutter button, that strap. Yo, this thing is dope. I can't wait to get this too. And my favorite color though, this white. Ooh. All right, here's something that you don't see too often. This is CyberDog 2. So this is crazy. Check this out. I mean, is this not scarier or what, man? I mean... <laughs> hey, yo, this is wild. Look, it's analyzing uh, Enabong about to bite him. Facts, look at that. Better back up. It's a scary world. It's a scary world. Oh, who is? For you, was. Yeah, the tablet. Oh man, it's fake, bro. <laughs> I don't want this. All right, so Honor's doing it pretty big over here. Big booth, man. So they got their Porsche design, the V2 RSR. It's a pretty cool phone. Super expensive. You got to take out a mortgage for that one. Um, let's see. What else we got? We got the Honor Magic 6 Pro. I'm sure you've seen like 50,000 videos on this already, but look at that. I love that camera design. That's pretty hard. I like that. So flagship. Uh, what's the price on this, E? It's up there. It's, yeah, it's flagship price. Yeah, flagship price. But still, it's a pretty hot phone though. I can't lie. Looks like the camera's good too as well. Take a picture. Let's see. What we got? Zoom is good. And this one also has a, what, 180 megapixel periscope. Okay, here we go. 100X zoom on that bad boy. Not bad. All right, so that does it for MWC 2024. Let me know which product that you like the best. And if you ever get a chance to come out here, I think it's a much chiller show than CES. Very well organized. And I think it's a really cool place to come. So let me know what you like. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. See you back at home.